Hey there everybody, how you doing? Welcome back to Airbrusher Gaming. Hope you're having a great day. Well here I'm in my Kindler. About to drive some uh, hazardous materials up to Barstow to a mining company. I said like I know what I'm doing. Well, that's actually what I'm doing in this game. I don't know what that means. <laughs> but at any rate, uh, this is American Truck Simulator. And for whatever reason, I am so addicted to this game. Um, yeah. And I watch streamers who are streaming it, and I watch people who make videos, and they, you know, they go for an hour, and I'm glued to the screen like I'm watching, I don't know, the, you know, the next Prince and Princess being married, so I don't know, I'm just like I'm glued to the screen. And this is a crazy ass road to put truckers down, honestly. I believe I'm coming out of Fresno here. I'm going from Fresno to Barstow. And I'm going to do some gassing up here. I'm playing this game with the mouse and keyboard, which is not the best way to do this game. And once I get done filling my truck up, you'll see why it's not. Though I'm getting better with it. The game I played right before this, you got to hold the key down to actually do the feeling. It took me a while to figure that out. There we go. I am brand new to this game, so a lot of the keys are still being figured out and so on and so forth. So, yeah. So, here we go. I'm going to I use the uh, mouse and keyboard. So, I have A and B is where I look. So, I pull up here. I'm using my right side rear view mirror to see where I'm going. There we go. So there's nothing coming. And the mouse is what moves the, the steering wheel. You can see I'm just really screwed up right here because I'm trying to steer with the keyboard because it's what I'm used to doing because that's what games and planes do. So I finally get everything coordinated. And here we go. I'm going to head up on to the freeway here. This is... I don't know what's so fun about this other than, you know, I, I think it's one of the dreams of every young man, every kid out there to be a truck driver at one point in their lives. I know I did. I, could even, I was even able to dream, you know, being in the steering wheel and moving it back and forth. Kind of fun and, and uh, embarrassed as I might be willing to say this, uh, I am driving my truck in the area that I grew up in. <laughs> I grew up in a small town called Hinkley, California, made famous by the block here in Brock Mitch movie, PGE in Hexville and Chromium, which is probably what I'm I'm hauling here is barrels of Hexville and Chromium because they use that in mining as anti corrosive for something. Because I'm carrying hazardous waste, I have uh, just a simple license for hazardous waste, so I'm just probably going to use this stuff for it. And in my early teens, I moved to Barstow, went to Barstow High School, and then I moved up to Richard I haven't seen in this game yet. Anyways, yeah, I'm a desert rat. I grew up in the desert, so I thought it was very fun. So I will tell you from my experience of living there, we got the look absolutely correct in the ambiance, the atmosphere out here is how it looks. It has its own rugged beauty and they captured it. I, in, at least in my eyes, uh, the desert is very beautiful. I know people in this really piss me off. Dude, 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 we do, dude. And this game made me think, do I do this to truckers? Do I do that? I'm never going to do that again. <laughs> so yeah, it's a uh, yeah, big problem watching these guys drive. But, so they may have got the ambience and everything correct. Uh, they got the cities and everything in no way, shape, or form close to what I remember. Uh, matter of fact, I don't even have a clue where the hell I am at this moment. I 
know I'm getting on the 5 South. So, uh, then hook me up and go across the uh, 215 and 15 Barstow. But there's some kind of time compression going on in this game because I don't actually see those freeways. I just kind of take the 5 all the way to Barstow, which is the 5 goes nowhere near Barstow. But I do change freeways. But anyways, back to uh, talking about the ambiance of the game. I really got it. The trucks feel greedy. You can see I'm struggling to keep a straight line. You know, they shift and they move like the real thing. You know, you really got it. If you play this game, you'll really get an understanding of what truck drivers go through just to keep a straight line, let alone dealing with stupid drivers. So yeah, it's an interesting prospect. And maybe it's all this stuff and who puts Still not be nasty, Martin. That that girl white car just passed me on the left out here. Who who does that? This is not an area where you'll find a car like that. Maybe a old beat up Ford F-150 from 1972. Yeah, you'll find those out here, but not not an Aston Martin. <laughs> but yeah, that truck's great. The modeling of the vehicles is awesome. The trucks are beautiful. Uh, and you only have your own bird's eye view out. So whatever you can see from the seat is what you see. You cannot look like over your shoulder back into the cab and see the sleeper that and you can only see it from the outside by going to an outside view which I'll be doing at the end of this video at the end of this video. But we'll be coming up to that when we get to that point. But I'm wondering where the hell my GPS is taking me. I'm, I'm still in LA County here. I, I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> you think because I grew up out here I'd be able to tell. But this honestly just looks like Victorville a little bit. There's a little town called Victorville. It's about 50 miles north of Barstow. And this looks very much like the, uh, the Apple Valley Road and 15 Interchange, to be honest. Sort of. Kind of like by Laurel Grant. I don't know. It, it does. Maybe I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. I guess it doesn't matter. But it, at any rate, I am getting into the area of uh, the actual desert. This looks like the interchange where you would go and get onto the 15 from here. So that says the 10, so I have no clue what the heck this is. It does not look familiar to me. But hey, whatever, we're going to keep on going. Because we're doing what the, uh, what the GPS says, and the 10 does go really close to uh, Barso, so it's not, not uh, incorrect. As you can see, the GPS holds a lot of uh, information to the right, and uh, you can see where you're going, and you'll see at the kind of well, it's the upper right-hand corner. You see a money amount. That's how much money you're making for the trip. So you get the full amount, and then that subtracts as you. Tickets, or pay for gas, yada yada yada. Have an accident. The amounts for that is deducted right from the full amount. So this was like a thirty-five hundred dollar job or something like that. I'm already now in twenty-one hundred, and that's all fuel costs. It's me burning through the, uh, my money with the gas. And like I said, I I don't know all the keys yet, so it doesn't occur to me. As you can see, the sun is setting. Out of my truck is getting dark. And you have headlights, you have the cab lights, you have the interior lights, and they all have their own key. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to map it. 
when the, all those lights come on, so I don't have to mess with a bunch of stuff. But, you know, it's fairly accurate. I don't know if you've ever seen the inside, the interior of the semi truck, but there's button switches and toggles everywhere. see my dash because the sun is shining in through my window not because I have any lights on. So I pull out here and I'm thinking oh shit I gotta make a left hand turn that's a yielding turn but this Audi right here is very very nice to allow me to thank you Mr. Audi to allow me to make the turn and now we're heading up to the destination you can see it on the GPS. So I made a decent amount of money, and I'm almost to level 2, I'm only level 1, like I said, I just started playing, and you can see now that I cannot see my dash, <coughs> but here's the mic, I've delivered my material, and this really pisses me off, so to get to your destination, like mark it in the game so you can get to the next point, you got to drive through that little something and see the spot on the ground, so I literally drive through it. And normally it goes bing, and there's a little thing that comes up, how do you want to park, and da da da. You'll see that in a second, so I'm like, well, maybe I just need to pull a little more, more and no. So I can't finish this thing until I make that little symbol that I drove through go bing. So here I'm going to the outside view and uh, the arc. In the, in the middle bottom is my steer. You can see my wheels. And it is to help you back up. And it's telling you basically which way your trailer is going to go. So yeah, I'm not real good at it yet. And you can laugh all you want. You can laugh all you want. I deserve it. I look like an idiot. So here I'm just trying to get this truck lined up. So there you go. Look, I drove through it and then next shit back up job and I get it. Go figure. But anyways, you can choose um, put exactly where they need it, uh, play it safe and just put it into an easy area, or you can choose to just have it in right there and they have different levels of experience earned. And I'm on the middle experience, which is going to add about 90 XP, I think. And experience translates into how many jobs you can get, what kind of jobs you can get, and you earn skills. So like I got the skill for doing this hazardous material, which gives me a slightly higher pay. So here we go, and i come right around here, and this is where the trailer goes, and there you go. So here's the info, let you know how you did. I hope you enjoyed this because you're going to see a lot more of this game because, yes, I'm addicted to it and I'm having a blast driving it. 